So here's the thing, everyone. I know that I talked about Full Metal Alchemist last week. I didn't plan on talking about it again this soon, I promise you. But then I found this film. Full Metal Alchemist, the live-action film, came out in 2017, but in 2017, I looked like this, and I hated anime with a passion. And now this is... This is my life. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is one of the best anime of all time, and the manga is even better. This movie, however, is confusingly and fascinatingly bad in a way that most live-action anime adaptations are actually not able to achieve. Two of the most infamous live-action anime adaptations are Death Note and Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop tries to be more or less like the anime plot-wise while expanding certain elements. Sounds to me like blackmail. You're damn right it is, because, Jed, you are black and you are male. Death Note tried to do its own Americanized spin on the Death Note story. Uh, both this and Cowboy Bebop were dog ass, and Full Metal Alchemist is way, way worse. Full Metal Alchemist somehow is mostly about the first couple arcs of Full Metal, mainly the Shao Tucker family tragedy, but it also uses elements that were only revealed in the third act of the entire series, but they also do those elements just flat wrong. So yes, this movie is bad. It is very bad. But Anime YouTube already talked this to death years ago, and I wasn't doing this years ago. I'm doing this now. So I'm gonna go with a new angle on it. Full Metal Alchemist drinking game. Now let's go over the rules. Number one, subscribe. Number two, like the video. Number three, comment your favorite thing about me. Number four, please drink responsibly. I'll be relaying the plot of the film to you while I explain what the rules of the game will be. I will be playing this game with red wine for the drinks and whiskey for the shots. So let's go. Starting off strong, taking a drink on the third shot of the film with rule number one, take a drink every time they don't use the lightning effect to transmute. Okay, rule number two and drink number two. Take a drink every time the movie makes you laugh unintentionally. For me, this was when their mom died. That kind of stuff just always gets me. And drinks three and four for when Ed and Al try to transmute their mom, the house flies apart like Wizard of Oz, and not only is it not the right effect, it made me burst out laughing. So, rule number three, which accompanies drink number five, is disturbingly common, that being take a drink every time something is just wrong. And here they rename Lior to be Riol for no reason. Okay, hit drink number six because the fight between Ed and Cornello just looks plain terrible. And drink number seven, Ed summons his big spear, and it looks like it was made in iMovie. God, I hate this fucking movie. Drink number eight, for some reason they just call automail prosthetics, and drink number nine, for Ed repairing his jacket, it looks like ass. Drink number nine, Ed makes a big head. Okay, we've made it to rule number four, drink number ten, take a drink every time it looks like Al is doing an emote. My girlfriend, who I subjected to watching this film, said Al looks like he's doing one of those Fortnite emotes. Drink number 11, for some reason Roy and Riza Hawkeye are the ones who end up defeating Father Cornello. So I know I've been rather harsh so far, but let's take a moment to appreciate this film's version of lust. Damn. Rule number 5 and drink number 12, take a drink for every scene that Winry is in that she shouldn't be. Drink number 13, Al gets rid of the big head. So no head? Oh my god, I am only 17 minutes into this film, and I'm not good at drinking. Yo, it's the OC! Take a drink every time the OC shows up, that's drink number 14, and obviously there are countless evil military officers this character could have been, but fuck you, they had to make a new one! Also, I don't know if I'll be able to show this because Netflix, but I'm watching the English dub because it's hilarious and every actor sounds like their audio was recorded in a closet or possibly a sex dungeon. Winry is back in a random scene, that's number 15, and the OC is back, baby, that's 16. And just to be clear, I love Winry. I especially love Ed and Winry as a couple. I think they are so cute. However, she's clearly just put in this movie at random points so that Ed can have someone to bounce off of. That usually being Al. However, Al is too expensive to have on screen, so I have to shove him in a closet or like a sex dungeon. Hell yeah, baby, another swirly particle effect transmutation, courtesy of Envy Transforming. That's 17, baby. Winry is at the Hughes dinner. That's 18. 
19 now during Try Not To Laugh compilation of Ed's stream sequence. It's really funny, I'm sorry I can't show you guys. Number 20, Winry is headed to the Tucker household. Winry, I love you, but please fuck off, I can't keep doing this. Things are pretty slow at this point in the movie. Shao Tucker looks like Victor Light from Fire Force. I wish I was watching Fire Force. So okay, drink number 21, cause Winry is leaving the Tucker estate with Ed while Shao Tucker has some private time with Alphonse. And really this leads into the biggest problem with this movie in my opinion, besides the fact that it exists. And that is that Ed and Al do not seem like they give a single shit about each other. They don't feel like brothers, they at best feel like co-workers, they have absolutely no chemistry when they are on screen together, which is almost never, and for a movie based off of a series with the subtitle Brotherhood, that's kind of a problem. Number 22, Winry is meeting Dr. Marco for some reason. Number 23, Ed transmutes a gun all wonky, and yep, there's no lightning. I hate this movie. I'm starting to think that Lust is the only part of this film I'm gonna enjoy, but anyways, she just busts in and kills Marco without even acknowledging Ed and Winry. Like they're watching fucking dinner theater. And 24 goes along with this since they kill off Marco. Uh, he's in the whole series. He is so important, and they just kill him. Also, I had to take drink number 25 because the moment when the Nina Tucker Camara is revealed doesn't even have a music sting. It was just... How about that? This feels like a fan film created by people who only know the plot of Full Metal Alchemist through a long-standing game of charades. OMG, Al is back after 15 minutes. Fuck, I had to take drink number 26 because Ed punches a wall and it has no sound effect and it was really funny. <laughs> like in the anime, Shao Tucker is arrested and set to be court-martialed. Speaking of like in the anime, not in the anime, the OC. Drink number 27 now. Okay, so drink number 28 should be that lab number 5 is a cannery for some reason, but my tummy hurts and I don't want to take this drink. What are you going to do about it? Oh, wait, fuck. Winry is at lab number 5. Okay, I'll drink, whatever. This movie is so insanely bad. Right now, Ed and Al are having that argument about Al maybe not being real. Uh, this scene made me cry, both when I watched and read it, and now I feel nothing but nausea. Okay, we've got our final rule, rule number 7. Take a shot every time they mention the Ashvalan Civil War, because we're an hour and 18 minutes in, and this is the first time it's come up. If you've watched or read Full Metal, or maybe uh, watched my video on it from last week, you would know that the Ashvalan Civil War is... kinda important. Guys, I think I might quit this video. I'm so bored. I just wanna... Oh, hi, Lust. Gosh, guys, I'm so invested in this film. I love this film. Well, Hughes is about to die. That's okay, though. I don't really give a shit. Xiao Tucker escaped from jail somehow, even though he's a middle-aged man with no combat alchemy, so that's drink number 29. So now Mustang is being arrested for the murder of Hughes in, like, these weird tunnels that were never established, and since this is all wrong, I'm just not gonna be drinking. Ew, Envy does another weird transformation. That's number 30. Guys, I'm not even excited about Lust being here anymore. I hate this movie so much. Oh, okay, so drink number 31 comes when Roy learns that Envy was the one who killed Maze Hughes just hours after it happened. God damn it, they mentioned Ishval again. That's shot number two. Guys, please let me stop doing this video. I thought that this was gonna be fun, but I'm not good at drinking. I'm like 80 pounds. Please let me stop, I don't like this anymore. So, a little minor change in the plot. Shao Tucker has kidnapped Alan Winry somehow, and he's creating the Immortal Army from the end of the series, except they can't heal him, they're not immortal, so I don't know what he wants. I'm taking two drinks for no other reason than to numb the pain. So now the main villain is Shao Tucker doing Dennis Reynolds speeches. The Golden God! I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds! Oh my god, Lust, get the fuck out of here. I hate you. I hate everyone in this stupid movie. Oh my god, the OC is here. Oh joy, oh joy, that's drink 31, baby. I love this movie. Oh my god, the OC is the main villain. Now let's go. I love General Hakaru, the OC. That's 32, I think. So, okay. 
The dummy soldier's only advantage over regular people are that they feel no fear or pain, and if they're not immortal, that's probably more of a hindrance than anything else. Yeah, so, uh, here's the thing about the drinking game, guys. I did not finish it. Uh, I got sleepy and my tummy hurt really badly, so I stopped because I felt like it. Uh, if you comment down below, I might do this again. Actually, no, I won't, but you can comment it if you feel like it, but I'm never, ever watching this movie again. You can't make me. There are two more live-action films in development. I might talk about them someday. I don't know. I'm so tired. I've seen this film three times now, and that's four times too many. Uh, it's been a while since I've done the no jacket bit. It feels nice, especially because it is July in Kansas, and this state is a hellscape. But what's not hellscapian is that I found a new apartment, which I'm very happy about because I have been ferociously hunting for one. However, this guy, he's on his last legs. Like, there's so much of this broken. I super glued most of this back together when I moved into this apartment. So he's leaving, folks. I'm sorry about it. There's going to be a change of scenery, but I think it's going to look very nice. I hope you'll like it. Thank you for watching this week's video if you made it to this point. Uh, comment down below your greatest fears so that I can use them against you. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you next week.